everybody, uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. It's a dark, sad day for uh, Stevie Breach and the Russell Center. Uh, one of uh, my favorite uh, guys, I don't even want to call him my favorite guy, just one guy that you know I sort of stuck up for and said this guy has a future in wrestling, uh, was released today from the WWE. It was a, a long time uh, uh, in the making. He probably honestly should have been released a while ago. Mark Michael Tarver, one of the original members of Nexus. Um, you know, his road just came to an end. He got injured um, back, and uh, they sent him down to FCW for some retooling, and they just, you know, creative never found anything for him. Uh, I honestly thought that a guy with his sort of uh, character stuck out on NXT Season 1. That was a stacked season. I think everybody except Darren Young uh, had, a, had a future at, at that point in wrestling. I thought they could have done something with him. I thought that the way that he mixed uh, mixed martial arts, which is, you know, huge in the United States and around the world, was pretty good for wrestling and we haven't had a character like that uh, in, a, in a good long while. I mean like uh, since Ken Shamrock left um, I, I think that they, it could really work and uh, for some reason WB doesn't like to you know sort of admit that uh, UFC and mixed martial arts has that presence so they didn't really use this guy. A guy that you know was a real big sort of punch and kick sort of uh, you know competitor but also you know had many submission moves that he could lock you in and uh, you know basically it was that's all he needed. Like, I can't remember on NXT, he had some sort of slogan, he only needs three seconds to make you tap or something like that. But this is a guy that I really stuck up for. I was able to get the uh, the Tarver T, you know, get, get that going on YouTube. I thought that was uh, pretty pretty cool that he had his own little hand thing. I thought that made him stick out. Plus, if you remember back to NXT Season 1, it seemed like every week he had a, a new t-shirt. And those suckers were getting over. And... Um, it was like people were actually buying his shirts somehow, or people were making their own shirts, or he was giving them out. But you'd always spot people on TV side that were wearing them. He had the um, uh, NXT, like the NWO logo, that one that sticks out in my mind. Uh, he had just basically a Tarver t-shirt, um, and just, just other ones. I thought it was cool that WWE let him use his own merch to sort of try and get himself over, because it didn't seem like the other guys, except for their ring attire that they you know wore down to the ring, anybody had you know, their own merchandise, and that's what stuck out in my mind. Uh, Michael Tarver, you know, honestly, he's not really going to be missed, but I thought if they would have used him, it would have been right, but, um, you know, uh, he was a big part of uh, Stevie Breach, and he was a big part of the Russell Center, uh, you know, the whole Nexus thing blew up like crazy, and I was one of the big Nexus supporters, so he will be missed, but not much. Most of you, mine, maybe nine-tenths of you guys aren't even going to really care, but, you know, if it would, just for one last time, we'll all Throw it up and we'll do some Tarver teas and um, leave you with that.